Russian President Vladimir Putin calls the attacks an act of aggression and is seeking an emergency session of the United Nations Security Council. Jonathan Vigliotti is in our London newsroom with more on the reaction to the airstrikes coming in from around the world. Jonathan, good morning. Rena, good morning. The operation capped off nearly a week of debate between the U.S., U.K., and France. And this morning, all nations involved were quick to support the military action, calling the strikes restrained and precise. It was a limited, targeted, and effective strike with clear boundaries that expressly sought to avoid escalation. Speaking in London this morning, Prime Minister Theresa May said the international community will not stand by and tolerate the Syrian government's use of chemical weapons. We cannot allow the use of chemical weapons to become normalized, either within Syria, on the streets of the UK or elsewhere. The U.S., U.K. and France launched more than 100 missiles. In a statement, President Macron of France also noted the narrow focus of the strike, saying our response has been limited to the Syrian regime's facilities, enabling the production and deployment of chemical weapons. Russia, who backs the Assad regime, said the Syrian military intercepted 71 of the missiles and say there were no immediate reports of casualties. Moscow also called into question the timing of the operation, which was launched on the same day the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons was expected to investigate the site in Doma where chemical weapons were allegedly used. This American aggression indicates that the United States is not interested in, in an objective investigation. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, another ally of the Syrian government, went so far as to call President Trump and his allies criminal. And the U.S. and its allies said it would be criminal to do nothing at all. France's foreign minister said the strikes wiped out a large part of Syria's chemical arsenal and said more strikes were possible if chemical weapons were used again. Rena. Jonathan Vigliotti in our London newsroom. Thank you, Jonathan.